Let's talk about using SlideShare as a free and easy tool to promote and market your online course. If you're looking for some free, easier ways to promote and market your online course, get more people signing up for it or even purchasing it, or even just building your email list and getting more people into your audience, SlideShare is a great tool for this. Now, some of the highlights of SlideShare, obviously it has a massive viewership. It also injects right into search engines. So it's a very high priority site when it comes to listing in search engines. So if you have your own content on your own site and you have the same content on SlideShare, SlideShare is much more likely to be being picked up by search engines when people are searching for those types of topics. From there, you can link over to your site. It also have the, has the benefit, because it's about slides, of being very visual. So you can go to the effort of creating nice visually appealing slides in SlideShare, and it starts from someone searching for your content or your area or your keywords. They find this visually appealing content in SlideShare, and from there they can link over to wherever you want to send them, be it your online course or lead magnets and other ways of capturing them uh, that we can talk about in a moment. Now some things to keep in mind with SlideShare. As I mentioned, you wanna focus on being visually appealing throughout the slideshow. If it's dull visually, it's not going to capture people's interest as much as if you do have some visually appealing slides. And in fact, uh, I'm gonna throw the link below after, but you can grab from our blog a actual template that'll help you make visually appealing slides for your SlideShare presentations in the marketing context. Now let's look at how you actually take someone from SlideShare and transfer them into a course or a lead or a sale uh, or whatever action you're trying to achieve there. One technique is to look at ADA, attention, interest, desire, and action. So you wanna grab their attention, that's usually with that first slide they see, uh, maybe there's some key statistics or words on it that are capturing that attention. Then you bring them in and you get them interested. And usually this is telling a story or sharing some statistics or sharing some facts about your area of expertise or the results that they can see from it. Then you build desire. So you start talking about maybe how they can actually see some results from this. So you start sharing how their life might be different from what you're about to share with them. And finally you transition into action and that's putting links typically links into your SlideShare to send them off somewhere else to take an action. So that action could be signing up for your course. Although if you take them straight from a search to a SlideShare to buy my course, that's a bit aggressive and you're gonna have a lower conversion rate. Uh, what's more effective is taking them from looking at your SlideShare to a bit more free content, something like a download or a PDF or a free course or a free trial or preview of your course. All stuff that you can do within the Thinkific platform if you're serving your content or your courses up through Thinkific. So you move through grabbing their attention, building that interest, building that desire, and then the call to action where you start to move them over. And the nice thing about SlideShare is you can start to build in calls to action throughout the slideshow. So you can have a variety of different links within it. You can do links to social sharing. So maybe getting them to actually go and share this slideshow that you prepared. You can have multiple links to calls to action like grabbing a free download or watching a video or coming over to my site to take a free trial of the course. And then you can start to test to see which ones actually generate more leads. A few other great things about SlideShare is that you can take this and embed it anywhere. So you can build it up on SlideShare on their site and then you can actually take that SlideShare very much like a YouTube video and you can start dropping it into other sites. So you can put it else, uh, elsewhere on say a guest blog post, you can put it on your own site, uh, you can drop it into a variety of places which gives you a little bit more sharing capability. So I'd suggest giving it a shot, it's free to use, very easy to get started, we all have slideshows that we can go and share and again if you're looking for a good template there's one in a blog post on our site, I'll share the link below, you can check that out. And if you're looking to actually launch your online courses, not just market them, uh, Thinkific is a great platform to help you creating, launching, and marketing your online courses. You can check it out and try it out for free at thinkific.com.